guys, welcome to my Wednesdays. And no, it is not sponsored. As you can see, everything is from Dr. Teal's. These are just my favorite products. I've been talking about Dr. Teal's products for years. I just happened to like the products. They're affordable. They're really good quality. I just love everything. Today is Wednesday, and usually on Wednesdays, I have my home spa night where I take Epsom salt baths. It just breaks down my week in half, and I just sleep better, and I have been struggling with insomnia. So I just want to briefly show you what I'm going to be using today for my baths. It's foaming bath uh, with pure Epsom salt. This has melatonin in it and chamomile, and also I have the same Epsom salt pack uh, with melatonin. The brand recommends you do at least two cups of Epsom salt, put it in your bath, stay in bath for about 20 minutes, which I usually do. Definitely notice a huge difference with my sleep. It just makes me very sleepy when I'm in the bath because it's nice and warm and it relaxes your whole entire body. Epsom salt does um, relax your muscles and just helps you increase quality of sleep. After the bath, I always use this oil. This one it has a lavender essential oil in it, almond oil and aloe vera. I love this. It's definitely oily and does absorb into your body, but it's not super greasy and um i will be using uh, this body scrub uh, that i just purchased but i will be uh, trying this today first time and i will let you guys uh, know how i liked it and now it's a bath time. I want to briefly show you guys what my setup looks like. My bath is not ready yet, but I wanted to show you this caddy. I bought it for myself as a Christmas gift. I always have a candle. It puts me in a relaxing mood. And I do like to have facial masks. So today I'll be using this glycolic mask by Andalo Naturals. This is a pumpkin honey glycolic mask. Exfoliating uh, brightening mask. I love this. I've been using it for years. I've been recommending it to you guys. And I repurchased it a million times. I love this. This just makes my skin super soft. So I like having something like this when I'm taking a bath. I also always have some sort of um, a lip balm because when you are in the bath, sometimes your lips tend to get a little bit dry or dehydrating. And then I have my phone, but I never really play with my phone. I just use it for music. I usually just like play relaxing music always have a glass of um, water and um, here is my face towel that I'm gonna use to remove my mask. I have all these lotions here. This is my Cetaphil moisturizing uh, cream. This is uh, for body and for very dry sensitive skin. It's very rich cream. I've talked about it also a million times, you guys. This is pretty much the only thing that I use to moisturize my body. Uh, this is currently the food cream that I use. It has lavender and Epsom salt. I actually like that it has a cooling effect. I usually have this uh, cream at my nightstand because I apply it every single night on my feet up to my knees and because it has a cool effect it really makes me fall asleep faster and now it's time for my bath hi guys today it's a different day today i actually wanted to share with you my skincare routine that i usually do on sundays before my work week starts and this is more of a treatment skincare i recently filmed my morning skincare routine because it kind of makes sense to do it because my morning skincare routine does not really change too much my night skincare routine however changes depending on my skin needs i hope this makes sense so i decided instead of making multiple videos of my night skincare routine i would rather just include it in a vlog for you so I hope you like it. Um, I am currently in my bathroom. I apologize if there's an echo. There are some tools, there are products with active ingredients and there are masks. Let's begin. So I took a shower so my skin was warmed up. When I get out of the shower, I usually have this type of sleeve for my hair. So I wrap it in the bun. This has been a lifesaver. And uh, while my hair is kind of like semi-drying, I would do my skincare. I cleansed my face today with this uh, gentle face wash by Kate Somerville. I really like this. I've been using it for probably two months now or so. And I really like how gentle it is. It's just a clear gel and it's fragrance free. I use it with this tool, put it on your finger like this. 
This is a little like suction cup. I like to put it on maybe like a wall or a mirror in your bathroom. And this has hair like bristles, but they're longer than what you would normally see. So I really love how like how flexible this thing is. This is a really, really soft. I really like this shape. Just really allows you to get like right on the corner here, not too close to your eyes. You don't want to rub under your eye area, but it just kind of almost like fits right here. This is a by the brand Kayla. Um, I have talked about this brand in my previous videos. I've mentioned it here and there. This comes in the set with like a little sponge that I don't necessarily use so much, but I really like this because it's made out of rubber and it's really easy to clean because my skin really feels so much cleaner than when I used to just use my hands. This just took the cleanliness of my skin to a completely different level. I picked it up in my local TJ Maxx. I see them there all the time in a bunch of different colors. This set with a sponge was under $5 and this stuff is so, so, so good. I used these two razors. They are from Gigi brand. And I shared these in my unboxing video. I will have it linked for you in the description box. So basically these are just the same kind, but they're two different sizes, as you can see. I've used a Revlon brand in the past and they just come in this uh, larger size. And then this time I decided to try a smaller size as well. And let me tell you, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner because this is so helpful. This gets into the areas, for example, like in between your eyebrows here, or if you guys have like high cheekbones like I do and I have a divot here, sometimes the longer razor is uncomfortable to use. So I would just use a smaller one to just kind of go in these areas and um, maybe like around your mouth, like here on your chin, because it's just has like slightly curved to my face, nice quality. And I really like the difference in sizes. And I rinse off my face, make sure all this hair that we just shaved off, not staying on your face. Next step, I did this a mask by Urban Skin RX. This is um, acne and blemish clearing mask. It has 5% sulfur, niacinamide, and salicylic acid in the ingredient list. The color of this mask is like grayish blue. I just uh, use this a brush. This is um, actually a foundation brush by Real Techniques. It's nice and flat and it's angled. I never use this for foundation. I actually like uh, this brush for applying my masks. I use this for preventative reasons mostly. I would apply this all over my face and then let it sit from 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off. I usually do it like once a week. It just helps me to detox and clarify my skin. If I have a breakout, if I have something going on somewhere, that definitely helps to calm everything down and clarify the texture. I've used this mask probably for about a month or so now and I know this is gonna last me for a very long time. It does have a very nice emollient uh, texture so a little goes a long way. You do not need a thick layer because it does have like active ingredients in this so you just need to coat your skin just like in a really nice solid layer but you don't need a thick layer like this. Personally like the effect. I feel like it is an effective mask. Since this mask is more on a treating drying side. After removing this, I like to go into a secondary mask, something that is a little bit more hydrating. And today I use this honey potion um, by Pharmacy. It literally has a honey texture. It is really, really goopy. I can't even describe it any better. It literally feels like you are taking out honey. I also use the same brush to apply it and a little goes a long way. What it tells you to do is apply it until this yellow clear gel turns into like a white emulsion. I did it section by section. So I did like this part of my face and here, then here, and then here until it's all covered. Once the consistency turns from gel to a white cream alike, then it starts warming up on your face and it feels really, really good. It's just like a warm effect. It's not burning. It's just like a warm effect on your skin. And again, you keep it as a mask for like 10, 15 minutes to your comfort and then you wash it off. My face felt so soft after this. After doing the detox on your skin, I really like to get 
that moisture back to my skin. So I think I kept it longer, maybe like 15 to 20 minutes, and my skin was so soft after removing this. For my eye cream, I use eye cream from Iveno. It absorbs into the skin. I tap it with my finger like this, and it just really nice light, almost like a gel cream formula that just brings that hydration. I use it both day and night, and it doesn't pull up under makeup. I'm not experimenting with my skincare. I know exactly the ingredients that I'm looking for and I'm very, very specific of what products I am applying to my face. For my treatment, I use Honeymoon Glow AHA BHA Serum. It kind of has this like milky texture and it has a nozzle, as you can see. It's a glass bottle and it has a dropper, very convenient to use. This is smaller size. This was in a set and it came with a cleanser little sample that I haven't used yet. It is a 14% HA BHA serum. Applied it to my face uh, just in a nice thin layer today. Definitely has that tingling to your face. I have used HAs and BHAs before and I love the effect. I've been using this type of acids since I turned 30. To add a little extra hydration to my skin, I just went with lightweight gel moisturizer by the brand Odzi. It's available on a Sephora website. I've talked about this before. This is almost empty. This is a very much just like a clear gel I love this. It works for my skin. It's super hydrating. I believe this retails for like $28. It's worth the money because this stuff is so, so, so good. Fragrance free and it just really just goes on your skin and just hydrates your skin so nicely. I would wake up in the morning and um, my skin is so nice and hydrated. It's like, I feel like I drank a lot of water. I really like to use something like this light when I use active ingredient on my face because I want that active ingredient be a primary uh, focus uh, for my skin and not to over layer too many things so I like to use something that's kind of like still giving you that hydration but it just kind of like more of a neutral product so uh, that's what I did today this is basically my nighttime skincare routine uh, that I usually do on Sundays it's more of like a treatment oriented and um, clearing my skin and prepping it for a long week of uh, work and makeup wearing hope you guys enjoyed it and um, if you like this vlog give it a thumb up uh, so I will continue making this type of videos in the future and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and thanks so much for watching I'll see you in my next videos bye